I read all of the comments on Reddit and YouTube. While most of them were very kind, some of them had a little more negative feel to them. Fucking useless shit. Better be with the perfect place of good tag. I hope he was got a retrofitted with an LED backlight or something, but all he did was patch it this pure computer. And yes, I think while well, some of them just didn't get my artish attempt of fixing, yes, yes, they were partially, partially right that the screen in its current state is somewhat unusable for daily tasks. In this video I will revisit the iMac project and fix the backlight to a more usable and readable state. The backstory to this is, while I myself am more of a Windows guy, I really fell in love with Apple's GarageBand and recently I got my hands on an e-drum set, which by itself sounds like ass. <laughs> With the addition of a uh, USB MIDI controller, I have high hopes that I can use my iMac to learn drums and have more fun with it while doing than with the crappy module it comes with. I started this project with taking a look on the back glass of the display panel, took it further apart until I get down to the backlight tubes and they were shattered. To begin my work, I disassembled the iMac and got down again to the display panel. I removed the LED lighting around the plastic frame, left only those on the upper side and fitted another stripe on the bottom. I didn't want to use new stripes, so I used some of the old lighting, cut them to the right length and soldered them together. I added a cable on the top LED stripe to get the power down to the bottom one. With the light distribution done, I gave every part a good clean and got the original light diffuser sheets back in the plastic frame. After those three sheets, the glass panel is the only thing left. Before a final clean and assembly, I want to give it a quick test. Pretty nice. Oh, by the way, I force upgraded the iMac to High Sierra to install GarageBand. With the iMac all ready to go, I need a little stand for the Mac at the drum set because I want to use its screen to display some sheet music while playing. Thank you. 
There is a wide variety of different drum sets playable with GarageBand, and I like almost every one of it. Feel free to leave a comment what you think about the before and after sound. The floor tom can be used as mouse pad. That's all for today's video, I hope you liked it. If so, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Yep. Go ahead.